Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about universe and existential quantifiers. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about predicate logic basics. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. See, first we need to understand what quantifier means. Let's take these two statements and understand what quantifier means. Apple is red. So, what's this statement says? Apple is red. But take the next statement. Every apple is red. What's the second statement says? It is going to give you some quantify. It is going to quantify means it is for what extent this statement is going to be true. That is what quantification means. Every apple is red. It is giving some limit. It is going to say that some. it is quantifying it. You take any apple. It is in red color. That is what this statement says. So that is what quantifying means. Quantifier means. In our examples, we are having two types of quantifiers. Universal quantifier, existential quantifier. So we are going to understand of both the statements, universal and existential quantifier. Coming to the first one, universal quantifier means, take an example and understand, all men will die. So all, every apple is red. So this is universal means this statement universal quantifier means it is applicable to for all. Then we say it as universal quantifier. All men will die. Every apple is red in color. It is applicable to all apples. It is applicable to all men. This type of quantify we call it as universal quantifier. So, how we are going to write these statements, universal quantifier statements uh, using our predicate logic. Uh, let's try to understand those examples. All men will die. How we are going to write this statement in our predicate logic. Uh, let's try to understand this. Uh, so, in order to understand this, first you need to understand what universe of discourse means. So, universe of discourse means in our universe we are having uh, men women, living beings, non-living beings means in our universe we are having all the things. From this universe, if you pick one, if it is a man, then he is going to die. That is what our statement says. All men will die. So what is our universe of discourse? Our universe contains everything. Living beings, non-living beings, uh, men, women, animals, flowers, plants, everything is there in our universe. So, based on this understanding, we have to write the statements. Based on the assumption that our universe contains every living beings, non-living beings, all the things. Based on this, we need to write the statements. Don't forget this. This is very, very important. So, whenever we are writing this quantify, uh, predicate logic examples, our assumption is our universe contains everything. So from this universe you are going to pick one by one if it is a man. So that's why we are writing it as all men will die. This statement is converted as we are converting that into two predicates. Is man is one predicate. We will write it as M. Will die is going to take another predicate. That value is given as a variable is given as D. So, if you pick anything from this universe of universe, if it is a man, then he is going to die. That's why our statements are for all x, the symbol for all x is this or the second symbol is the second one. These two symbols, any one symbol we can use for for all universal quantifier. So, for all x, if x is a man, m of x, x is a man implies means then x is going to die that is how we have to write means we are checking here x is a man why we are checking that 
our universe of discourse contains all men women everything if it whatever we pick whatever we place in the variable x if x is a man we need to check that then he is going to die all men will die that is how we write the universal quantifier examples the same example we are writing with different symbols yeah. these two symbols we can use for universal quantifier so the same example there is no change this is the second option for symbol universal quantifier this is how we write the statements let's take a, let's let's assume that for better understanding we are giving this example assume that our universe contains only men means whatever we are going to pick from here what you are going to get you are going to get only man there is no woman there is no other living beings nothing is there if our universe of discord contains only men whatever we pick he is going to die no need to check that he is a man or woman because our universe of discourse contains only man for all x d of x whatever x you are having x is going to die if he particularly in the examples in the examples in the exam if they particularly mentioned that uh, if our universe of discourse contains only men then we have to write like this all men will die will be written like this because no need to check if it is a man or woman because our universe of discourse contains only men for understanding purpose we have written this example but uh, in in solving the examples if we did not mention anything in the exam our assumption is our universe of discourse contains everything based on this we have to write the statements for all x if x is a man then x is going to die that is what this statement says all men will die we write one more example one more example every apple is red in color this is this is separated two statements is apple is going to be one predicate a is a is red is going to be second predicate r how we are going to write this our universe of discourse contains apple banana all fruits flower, flowers everything is there in our universe if you pick one thing from this if it is an apple for all x if x is an apple then x is going x is in red color that is how we write the statements this is what about universal uh, universal quantifier let's take one more quantifier which is existential quantifier existential quantifier means uh, at least uh, one is going to be happen at least one has to be happen then we call it as existential there exist at least one so the symbol for is uh, there exist this is the symbol for uh, there exist existential quantifier some men are clever not all men are clever there exist at least one man who is going to be clever that is what this existential quantifier says how we are going to write this statement some men are clever so from our universe of discourse what we are having man women living beings everything we are having if you pick one from this universe there exist an x if x is a man and x is clever then this statement is going to be true like this this statement is going to be true at least for one that is what this quantifier says there exist x this is going to be true for at least one x that is what this there exist says this is how we write the statements for existential quantifier existential quantifier now uh, let's go deep into the uh, uh, into our universal and existential quantifiers uh, this is universal quantifier this is existential quantifier when this universal quantifier is going to be true when it is going to be false when this existential quantifier is going to be true when it is going to be false 
we will understand that we, uh, we already discussed about we are giving it as a table so universal quantifier is going to be true when it is going to be true p of x is true for every x you take any x this p of x has to be true then only we say that for all x p of x is going to be true so when it is going to be false there is an x for which p of x is false if if you show that there is there is one x that x is going to be the uh, for which p of x is false if you show this then for all x p of x is going to be false similarly existential quantifier when it is going to be it's a true value there is an x for which p of x is true you have to show that at least for one x p of x is going to be true then only we can say that there exist an x p of x is going to be true that is what the meaning of there exists that is what the meaning of uh, for all it is going to be true for all x if you show that one x is false then you this entire for all x p of x is going to be false so when there exist p of x is going to be false if you show that p of x is false for every x there is you didn't find any one x which is going to be true which for where p of x is going to be true for all x p of x is false then you can say that there exist p of x is going to be false because you didn't find any single x for which p of x is true then you say that p of x is false for there exist x p of x is going to be false hope you understand universal and existential quantifier if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you